I want to talk about Infamous uh, for episode two of, of this vlog, um, and basically just bring up a bring up a, a, an idea uh, of a criticism that I've had um, of the game, and essentially that's that um, the, the the main problem with 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 Infamous is that you don't feel like a superhero, even though that you are playing as a superhero. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, a superhero, uh, traditionally, let's say, let's take uh, the Marvel idea of a superhero. Um, a superhero uh, works to their own agenda. They they don't work particularly well as part of teams. That's, um, you know, that's inability to work um, together is exactly what creates the interesting tension between the X-Men, uh, the Avengers, um, you know, the West Coast Avengers, you know, all of these different teams, um, and, you know, even the bad guys, uh, you know, the Sinister Six, that sort of thing. And that's kind of, that inability to work with one another and having their own personal agendas, that's what's interesting about, about um, you know, when we do see big team-ups, that kind of thing. Um, therefore, when you're uh, when you have a, a, a main game in which the main thread of the story is um, is a person who is essentially being used for the entirety, you know, of of the plot, you wind up with a product that's not particularly interesting because you don't feel like a badass if somebody is is using you. Um, all throughout, Cole, the the the, the central protagonist. He he's he he's uh, somebody else's tool, and that's not particularly interesting. It doesn't make you feel like a superhero. It certainly doesn't make me feel like a superhero. But what I really loved about Infamous, um, from from what I've played so far, and I'm, I'm getting towards towards the end of the game, is the side missions. And it's something that I know I, I know a lot of criticism has been thrown at um, in, in, towards Infamous in that the side missions detract from the ra you know rather weak storyline and. I think that that's, that's true, but at the same time I think that it's also the greatest asset that the game has in that you can go around Empire City and, and feel like feel like a you know uh, feel like a hero and feel like you are helping the, the den you know the den the denizens of, of, of that uh, of, of that city and uh, you know helping people out sporadically I think that that's particularly interesting and that's what makes you feel empowered um, you know moving through the city quickly and uh, you know with a lot of agility um, helping out people that's what I really really loved and that's what I kind of wanted to talk about today I, because I, I feel that uh, there's a lot of criticism that's thrown at the game for that um, for not having um, a, a clear focus and a clear goal and and while the game is um, uh, is conceptually really interesting uh, in the way that it's an open world and that you can looking at the way that you behave in that open world the the, the main the main story and the, the, the all of the blue icons that are on the on, on the map uh, that sort of push this story forward actually kind of damage the uh, damage the experience and I would actually have preferred infamous to have been a to have been all uh, open world and all very much based on your decisions and hopefully that's something that we'll see in Infamous 2 um, and uh, when, when, when that sees release. Um, just to catch up, uh, what else have I been playing? Um, Halo, I've just finished off playing for an article for Resolution Magazine uh, which is an online magazine uh, and that should go up uh, uh, in about a week or two's time so that should be quite fun. Um, and uh, what else? Or oh, some stuff from retrospect, uh, Virtual Cop, uh, which uh, review will be going up in a fortnight. And uh, also for fun, been playing, um, uh, been playing a game called Desi Adder, which I'll talk about in in episode three because I'm very very excited uh, by that game and what it means. Uh, a very interesting title. Go to Game Gears, which is an online retailer, and type in Desi Adder. Uh, and cost you about three quid brand new for a PSP game and uh, certainly worth looking into um, yeah thanks again for, uh, for, for, for watching these um, thank you for all the comments of uh, episode one really really appreciated um, do get in touch with me via twitter.com slash zero 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 spelled with an internet friendly X uh, and let me know what you think uh, of, of the show and also uh, 
what I can call uh, this vlog, because I'm starting to think vlog is not a great word anymore. I think it's a really horrible word that, that sounds a little bit like a disease. Uh, you know, catching a vlog. Not good. Not good. Uh, and also I need to <laughs> figure out a way to end these uh, correctly, because at the moment it's a little bit poor. Maybe we can uh, put together a song or something. Hmm.